Kenya's institutions are firm. Kenya is not a failed state. We have a president, a government, duly elected in broad daylight. And where there was doubt, the courts were tested. Not once, but severally. And they have made their decision that Kenya stands tall and we are not a failed state. Let that message ring loud and clear. Your Excellency, the opposition are using simple tactics, manda mano, rushing to court with petitions, trying to externalize their losses at every corner. But we are very clear that the government of William Ruto, with him at the helm, his family in control, and the challenges we are facing shall soon be behind us. What is left really is people refusing to acknowledge the reality. I was asking Ndini Nyoro, what is jealousy? What is the word for jealousy in Kikuyu? Eh? Oiru? Oiru? So, I put two and two together. He comes from Kianduto. And I said, bishops, we should pray. Ama tuambia watu aterere enyue. Tambore kyoko guru, turutendutu ya orio. Because what we need to do is just to help these people to come to terms that William Samoy Ruto, Rigathi, our leaders, and they must now get rid of this jigger of jealousy so that we can move forward. And I'm sure Kenya will reach very strong heights. The president has made tremendous steps. His diplomatic scorecard within the few months that he has been at the helm is extraordinary. How many heads of state have come here in these last few months? If you go back into history and you ask yourself, have you ever seen that array of heads of state and government coming into Kenya the way they have come within such a short time? The recognition he's receiving internationally. The resources he's able to garner for us. The financial engineering that he's advocating and supporting for Kenyan people. You people, let us remove Ilendutu. Yanini? Yawivu. That word that I said. Oiru.